Hey there guys, John Cabe here. Thanks for visiting my movie vlog. And now we're just about at April here. And while a lot of us are very much looking forward to May with a lot of great films, there are some terrific films opening up in April as well. And I wanted to make sure that they're on your radar. So I want to do my top nine most anticipated films for the month of April. Coming in at number nine, the film Chapa Quiddick. Now this is a film that looks at the real life incident in 1969 when Ted Kennedy was involved in a car accident that accidentally led to the death of a young campaign strategist named Mary Jo. Now you've got House of Cards and Fantastic Four's Kate Mara. You've got the immortal Clancy Brown. You got a Olivia Thurlby, you've got Ed Helms, you've got Jason Clark, you've got Bruce Dern. This movie looks fantastic. I'm really looking forward to it. Chappaquiddick opens in theaters on April 6th. At number eight, Super Troopers 2. The first Super Troopers has achieved like cult-like status amongst fans. Now you're adding in the likes of Linda Carter and Rob Lowe, and a lot of people are really buzzing about this. Super Troopers 2 opens in theaters on April 20th. In the number seven spot, we've got the new Amy Schumer film, I feel pretty. Now, I love Trainwreck, and she's being joined in this film by the great Michelle Williams. The theme of this movie is what fascinates me. The idea of self-confidence, the ideas of body image and self-shaming and things like that, all brought an approach from a comedic point of view. I'm actually really fascinated by this simply because of the themes. Mark this one down for me. It opens up on April 20th. In the number six spot is the new Bloomhouse Productions film, Truth or Dare. Now, truth be told, I get it, uh, truth be told, I'm not really thrilled with the trailer so far. However, I have learned not to doubt the pictures coming out of Bloomhouse. Their last one, Happy Death Day, I thought looked terrible, and I ended up absolutely loving it. There's some potential here. This film opens up on April 13th. In the number five spot, and I can't believe this movie has moved up this high in my rankings, but I've loved the trailers, is the new comedy, Blockers. Now, of course, you've got Leslie Mann, who is Judd Apatow's wife. I've been in love with her ever since George of the Jungle. Of course, you got John Cena, a dude who has actually found his stride doing comedy. The trailers for this film have looked nothing short of spectacular. And by the way, earlier reviews coming out of South by Southwest have been really positive as well. Anyway, Blockers opens up on April 6th. In the number four spot, another movie I thought was just going to be awful, but the trailers have won me over. It's Dwayne The Rock Johnson's follow-up film to Jumanji and that is the video game based film Rampage. Again, the trailers for this will look spectacular. You got Dwayne The Rock Johnson playing in a big action role with big spectacles, big CGI monsters. What's not to like? Joining The Rock in this thing is Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who will always be Sam and Dean's dad in Supernatural to me. He, of course, was also Batman's dad in Batman vs. Superman. He was the comedian. He was a whole lot of different stuff. And of course, right now he's playing Negan on Walking Dead as well. Anyway, Rampage opens up on April 13th. In the number three spot, I got Borg versus McEnroe. Yes, Shia LaBeouf can act a little bit off his rocker, a little bit in his public life, but there's no denying the dude's one hell of an actor. I also love true stories. I also love sports stories. Put these things together and you got Borg versus McEnroe, one of the most fascinating rivalries in sports history. This movie is wonderful. Make sure you check it out. It also opens on April 13th. In the number two spot, we've got a Quiet Place, being directed by John Krasinski, starring himself and his wife, Emily Blunt. This movie looks outstanding. And we're talking about South by Southwest Film Festival. It premiered there, and the reviews have been literally off the charts. A lot of times people use that term, off the charts, as hyperbole, but no, the reviews for this have been off the charts. Everybody is raving about this movie. It looks freaky, it looks scary, it looks completely original. Cannot wait to see it. Anyway, A Quiet Place opens in theaters on April 6th. That brings us to the number one spot, and was there ever any doubt ever since it moved out of its May release date to April 27th? And that, of course, is Avengers Infinity War, the beginning of the culmination of everything that has happened so far in the MCU. This movie has 7,826 characters crammed into one big movie with the big baddie Thanos that they've been teasing all along. Look, the excitement for this movie is off the charts. It broke the comic book movie record for most tickets sold in its opening 24 hours of advanced ticket sales. Its trailers are off the scales. It's just looking amazing. All of us can't wait to see this. Of course, once again, Avengers Infinity War finally comes to theaters on April 27th. So there you have it, guys. That's how I would rank my top nine most anticipated films 
of April of 2018. The big question here is, how would you rank them on your anticipated list? Would Avengers Infinity War be your number one spot? Would you take out some of these movies and put in one or two others? Would you just rearrange it a little bit? Jump down to the comments section and let me know your top nine. Listen guys, while you're here, why don't you take a second, subscribe to this YouTube channel, make sure you click the thumbs up on the video and follow me on Twitter, simply at John Campia. That'll do it for me for now, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. My name's John Campia, and until my next video, bye bye